Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dom, and today we are taking a look at Touch ID. And as you can see here, I just unlocked my phone by simply pressing the home button and placing my finger on it. And this is one of the new features on the iPhone 5S. There is actually a fingerprint scanner right underneath the home button. So I'm going to show you how to use it here. So what you want to do is go into the settings app and then scroll down and tap on general. Once you're in here, scroll down until you see passcode and fingerprint and go ahead and tap on that option. Now here, we'll have to enter our passcode in order to adjust these settings. Once you've entered the passcode, you will see some options that you may have set up already during the initial iPhone setup process, but if you want to add more fingerprints, go ahead and tap on fingerprints here and in here is where you'll find all these options to do so. At the top, you have the option to use your fingerprint to unlock your device, and you also have another option to use your fingerprint to purchase through iTunes and the App Store. So in order to set up a new fingerprint, you want to tap on Add a Fingerprint. Now here, you'll be required to place your finger down on the home button and lift and rest it repeatedly. So let's go ahead and check this out. As I'm lifting and resting my thumb here on the home button, the fingerprint sensor is actually taking a bunch of high resolution images of my fingerprint to use to authenticate while we're unlocking the device or purchasing things through iTunes or the App Store. And after you're done tapping, after a while, it will eventually get you to this next screen here and it will tell you to kind of adjust the grip and basically get the edges of your finger or thumb so that it can better recognize your fingerprint from different angles. So here we just have to do the same process. Try to tilt your finger or thumb at different angles to make sure that you get the edges of your print here so that it's easier for Touch ID to actually recognize your fingerprint. It does take a little while, but make sure you don't rush it. And once you're done, you'll have this success message and you can go ahead and tap on continue. So let's do that here. And we can go ahead and test the fingerprint now. You can see it's added here as fingerprint four and you can add up to five, so keep that in mind. But let's lock the device and test it out. So I will press the home button and just leave my thumb there. And as you see, it just immediately unlocks the device. It's very, very quick and simple. I actually do like this a lot. But if I try to use a finger that's not authorized, you get try again. And it will keep doing that and it won't let the person into your phone. Of course, they could swipe over and actually use the passcode to unlock the device. But if they don't know that and they don't have your fingerprint, then they're not getting into your phone. Very simple. Here's the passcode lock right here. You can alternatively enter your passcode over there if you'd like. But... Overall, I think Touch ID works very well. I haven't had any problems with it, and it seems every time I just rest my thumb there, pressing the home button, it will unlock my device. Very, very genius idea here from Apple, and I really do enjoy this feature on the iPhone 5S. I hope that Apple expands the functionality to include other things like entering passwords in for websites or logging into Twitter or Facebook, stuff like that. But now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and download an app. So I'm going to download Evernote here. Here. And as you can see, before it lets me download it, I have to scan my fingerprint or enter my password. Now, I'm just going to scan the fingerprint. There you go. And the app starts downloading. It's very simple. It'll work with free apps. It'll work with paid apps. It just makes the process a lot easier. I really like this feature in iTunes and the App Store, especially if you're just trying to get an album or an app really quick. You don't want to have to fumble with the keyboard. You just rest your finger on the home button and it works. So let me know what you think about Touch ID down in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. This is Dom, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.